Now, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sudan Sibyl, is live with us from New Delhi. Good evening to Sudan. Now, the border row between India and Nepal has escalated into what could be a full-blown diplomatic standoff. Well, it seems it's one of the worst uh, diplomatic standoff between India and Nepal since uh, the blockade. Uh, uh, we know that uh, that was something that uh, the Nepalese still uh, remember. But talking about the current uh, standoff between India and Nepal, it uh, owes its origin after uh, the Indian Defence Minister inaugurated a road to Lipu Lake, which Nepal says that is its own territory. Uh, but after that, we saw a number of voices, whether it's the Nepalese president or uh, the prime minister or, in fact, the foreign ministry coming out with statements saying that it is uh, uh, the Nepalese territory and it is the sovereign right of the Nepali government to uh, get back its territory. There have been a number of uh, comments, including by the Communist Party, the ruling party in uh, Nepal. But by and large, uh, India has been silent on it. There have been only two comments officially on record. One by the Ministry of External Affairs, which said that this is Indian territory. And secondly, by the uh, Army Chief, the Indian Army Chief, who said uh, that uh, what Nepal is doing is at the behest of someone which clearly indicates at China. We know there has been a growing influence of the Chinese in uh, the Nepali politics and that is something that New Delhi has been worried about but uh, by and large it's just not uh, about uh, the uh, the the uh, territorial dispute but also what uh, the Nepali Prime Minister spoke in the parliament yesterday uh, about uh, the COVID crisis even though uh, what he mentioned was the fact that due to the uh, the increased people-to-people uh, -people interaction remember India and Nepal have, have a long porous border and Indians do not need any visas to go to Nepal and number of Nepalis also work in Indian uh, in India and a lot of Indians go to Nepal so due to the high people-to-people uh, -people engagement uh, the the virus has increased Please when it comes to uh, Nepal uh, from India, but by and large, the comments coming uh, from Kathmandu, the commentary coming from ne uh, Nepal is something that is only going to exacerbate the current ongoing diplomatic standoff between Kathmandu and New Delhi. We do expect a reaction very soon by New Delhi over uh, the new map which was, uh, uh, which was uh, today uh, given out by the Nepali government. Uh, this is something that is uh, going to irk New Delhi because remember, New Delhi, uh, like uh, uh, any country in the world, is very touchy about its sovereignty and this is something that New Delhi will not take very kindly even though issuing a map does not change the ground the reality whether it comes to Nepal or India. Right, Sudan, and is this, uh, what do we make of these comments as you've mentioned uh, by the uh, Nepalese Prime Minister about um, him going on to mock India by saying that the Indian virus looks even more lethal than the Chinese and Italian ones? Well, so far there is no confirmation of an Indian strain of uh, the virus in terms of uh, uh, the global uh, discourse regarding the COVID crisis. We know about the Chinese strain and other strains as well, but uh, uh, we have approached the ICMR here in India. We have approached them. There hasn't been any response regarding the strong version of uh, the, the Indian strain of uh, the COVID uh, virus. But by and large, remember, uh, domestically the commentary coming by the Nepali Prime Minister helps uh, the Nepal Prime Minister a lot, especially when it comes to diverting the domestic issues and raising a border issue is a standard thing globally by politicians, just not about Nepal itself. But by and large, we know that the commentary is not going to help India-Nepal relationship. This is a relationship which is a much celebrated relationship, a close relationship as uh, known as roti beti ka rishta or familial ties. There are people from India married to uh, Nepali people and there are people from Nepal married to Indians, especially especially in the Indian state of Bihar. So uh, this can be considered as a blip or perhaps uh, uh, continue for a long time. We know the Americans have also a uh, short while ago, 30 minutes ago, reacted saying that uh, uh, they hope that Kathmandu does not fall, uh, falls into the Chinese trap or, or it takes dictation from Beijing. But by and large, uh, this is something that is a worry for Bye. New Delhi. Thank you very much for that report. That's our principal diplomatic correspondent, Adan Sibyl, bringing us the latest on uh, the border row between Nepal and India.